Hi, I'm John Paul Capanegro. Welcome to my DVD series, Revolution. To get the very best print quality, you need high quality ICC profiles. But where do you get them and how do you make them? Let's talk about that. So you really do need high quality profiles. Better profiles make better prints. Things that they can help, more accurate color. They take full advantage of the printer's color gamut. They produce better neutrality and gray balance. They aid in creating smooth gradations and they deliver better shadow detail. A device like this, X-Rite's i1 display, is really a colorimeter only for monitors. It doesn't contain a light source. So the rest of their product line here, Color Monkey and On, the ones that I'm highlighting here, do contain light sources and they can read printed patches. Color Monkey is probably your entry level and it's amazing that the quality of the profiles coming off this are so good at this price range. It profiles, like all of the others, all of your devices from monitor to printer, even projectors. The more professional solution is X1 i1 Pro, and this device here is the i1 Pro in the IO robotic arm. You can buy the i1 Pro separately, you could buy the arm if you decide to buy to produce a lot of profiles. It's really an automation feature that will take some of the drudgery out of it, but you can use the i1 Pro with a device like this where you simply run the i1 Pro through this plastic ruler and measure patches. You could measure them individually, but strips is much faster. And of course, here you can go get a cup of coffee while you're doing it. So the X-Rite Isis is even more precise. One of the drawbacks to it is you can't put very thick substrates through it, but it's exceptionally precise and it generates the highest quality profile. It also costs more. If you're really into building the highest quality profiles, you may want to get into profile editing and a software package like Profile Maker from X-Rite also will be helpful in this, but this is really for color management enthusiasts uh, and color scientists, people who really want to get deep into this. And most photographers don't want to, and it's generally not necessary. All of the previous devices can generate very high quality profiles right out of the standard solutions. So how do you make a printer profile? Well, you print the target, and this is one thing that can be very challenging for a lot of people. An IT8 target looks something like this. Many targets look different. The key thing is to use the target that's appropriate for the software that you're using. And the other key thing is that when you're opening it up, you don't want to manage the color. I know it's strange that you need to get good color management by not managing the color of the document generating the profile. Kind of strange. But what's happening is you're taking the raw data that's in the file and delivering it directly to the printer without having any other color transform involved. If you converted it in any working space from sRGB to Profoto, you would have changed the numbers. And that'll throw off the target. It'll throw off the way the software actually measures that. It's not a good idea. So you want to open it up and you want to leave it untagged. Don't assign a profile. The other strange thing is that when you print it, you want to make sure that you turn color management off. Again, what you're doing here is you're taking out Photoshop and you're taking out Epson or any of the printer drivers that you'll be using their color management out of the mix. You're just sending raw data directly to the printer and seeing what you get. And the software is deliberately asking you to send values that are too saturated to print. The software then compares what it measures with what it sent, and that then forms a map of the gamut boundary, the limits of the materials. So again, be careful about how you print those targets. Let's take a look at the i1 Match software. It's actually extremely easy to use. So here I've launched it, and I simply tell it that we're using this to generate a printer. It already knows that I'm using the IO. You could use it or not. It's the same software with the i1 Pro. We choose the printer and we choose the chart. We, this is the chart that we printed. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to measure the chart. So we simply click forward in the wizard. 